I had this note on the America's Cup uh, coming up in March. This is this is hilarious to me because I was going back through the history. So first of all, uh, do you know who? Do you know the name of the boat that won the first ever America's Cup? This American is a trivia, promise. This is a trivia question that uh, everyone listening to the show will carry with them for the rest of their life and be able to answer it in a bar somewhere and win like I a ten dollar gift card to whatever bar you're playing <laughs> trivia. At. Uh, the name of the boat that won the first America's Cup was America, and that is why it's called America's Cup. Stop it. There you go. Are you serious? That uh, dead serious. Yeah, it was called America. It was from America. We won. They said, "Boom, let's call it America's that, Cup." That's the greatest. That's yeah. The, I haven't heard. I'm yeah, speechless. There you go. That's a great. That's a great little trivia. That's like not that hard oh to my piece God. together. But yeah. So the New York Yacht Club wins in 1851. They hold on to the Cup, Charlotte, for 132 years. They don't lose it until 1983. One of the greatest dynasties in sports history. Is this the GOAT dynasty? How is this not on the GOAT list? How are we not Why are we not about talking it? about this as a GOAT? Okay, okay, okay. 132 hold, hold years the phone. of dominance. Hold the phone. You know how you know how last episode you were like the in the GOAT discussion, there's always someone who brings up Secretariat. Secretariat, American, yeah. But, but, like a horse enters a conversation. Why aren't we bringing up this the, boat? The New York America? Yacht Club. Well, it was the club. It wasn't the one same boat. Club? The New York Yacht Club. Yeah. Okay, so when everyone's like, is Tom Brady the greatest athlete of all time? So it's no. like, no, actually, it's the New York Yacht Club. It's all the guys in the New York Yacht Club. During that run, they got challenged, obviously, a lot. They won it every time. There was a stretch where five straight times, uh, I'm going to give you the names of the boats that, that were the challengers, and it'll make sense as to why this is funny in a second. So in 1899, the New York Yacht Club was challenged by a team from uh, the United Kingdom. Uh, the boat was called Shamrock. We we won. I'm saying we because it was the American team. We won. We beat them. Oh, yeah. We are members of the New York Cow Club for all intents yeah, and yeah, purposes right now. Exactly. Two years later, 1901, uh, a, new, uh, a different boat is now challenging. It is called the Shamrock 2. <laughs> <laughs> they lose. Two years later, 1903, a new challenger emerges. It is called the Shamrock 3. It loses. <laughs> 17 you years later they realize that there's like a common denominator here no, no so it was two years at a time they take 17 years off they're like we got to figure this out they come back in 1920 i'm sure the world war had something to do with it for part of the pause but in my in my head canon it was like we really need more time to figure this out they come back in 1920 with a challenger called the shamrock four and lose <laughs> and then charlotte they, they take 10 years off they come back in 1930 with a boat called the Shamrock Five, and they lose. <laughs> so Buffalo Bills, you're off the hook. Oh my God! We gotta we gotta focus on th this run of boats called the Shamrocks from the United Kingdom. I mean, my God! And and here's the funny. I I forgot about this part because I'm looking at my notes. I completely forgot about this. The guy who was captaining all these boats. This is too yeah. unbelievable to, to to. This is unbelievable. The guy who was the captain of all these boats, his name is Sir Thomas Lipton, and you might recognize his last name because he is the Lipton Tea guy. He's the Lipton, he's the guy that does Lipton Tea. He tries five times to win the America's Cup with five different boats named Shamrock. Oh my God. You know what I love so much? Of Hilarious. <laughs> It's like I don't, I'm speech. I don't know why more people don't talk about a the dynasty that was the New York Yacht Club. B Shamrock One, Shamrock Two, Shamrock Three, Shamrock Four, Shamrock Five. Do you know what Thirty for Thirty? No, forget. You know what Fox <laughs> documentary I want to see <laughs> on this? On the, I want to see what made Thomas Lipton stop after the fifth after boat. the fifth one yeah what had the, he probably died i mean for god's <laughs> sakes it's like a 40-year run of losing he probably just like died <laughs> i the, i mean truly so now here's the thing like now if the bills do make it to the next to a fifth super bowl and they lose they're still not the worst losers they're not no no you you, you cannot top the the the, the t guy uh, who, I yeah, mean, he, like, what is it with T in America versus England? We just kicked their ass when it, like, I mean, <laughs> like, this is unbelievable. It's absolutely unbelievable. And then you go to, you go to his Wikipedia page, Sir Thomas Lipton, the, in the, in the, the up part, the, the, the top biography, like you're talking Marty Schottenheimer's obit. Like yeah, this is, this yeah. is his legacy. This is the top paragraph. The most important thing you need to know about the guy. Uh, it, it, it talks about how he started Lipton T, whatever. He boasted that his secret for success was selling the best goods at the cheapest prices, harnessing the power of advertising and always being optimistic. This was, this is his Wikipedia page. And so then the basically like, 
like like business school 101. <laughs> he's he's always optimistic, Charlotte. And then it goes on. He was the most persistent challenger in the history of America's Cup yacht race. That's that's one what, way of putting it. The most persistent you know, challenger. <laughs> do you know what Thomas Lipton was? What? He was ever hopeful, Mark. Ever hopeful. <laughs>